Sun so morning. I hope everybody's well. I am going to Kenya, Naivasha, for some hostile environment training. I've been with the company for nine months now, and I have never done a protest because I didn't have this training. Um, but it comes by once a year, and then you have to renew it every five years afterwards. Um, so yeah, I've done the theory part, we did it online, and now it's time to go do the real thing in person. Um, I'm excited. Um, I was worried a bit when they told us and they gave us like this long list of things that we have to bring, as well as, you know, our state of mind and physical state <laughs> fitness really <laughs> for this level that we have to be so i had to start you know training a little bit just to up my fitness level and i just merely walk most of the time and i feel like i'm up to it now i was really concerned in the beginning when they first told us because when we came back from december holidays boom the email in our faces and asked me i don't got the time <laughs> um uh, and then i got sick and i was just like i'm just gonna have to embarrass myself when i get there but I, I actually did it. I feel confident enough to be able to be doing drills and um, obstacle courses and whatever they have in store for us. I'm excited. Haven't been in Kenya for a very long time. This is actually my second time going, so it's not like I frequent Kenya. Um, but I love, I love that country. So I think that's why I'm most excited. Also, I've, I know people there. I've got a really close friend of mine who lives there, so I'm looking forward to seeing her as well. So we could use this as like a pleasurable business kind of thing. Um, anyway, let's get packing. Okay, I'm a cough. It was a bit stressful because I'm like, I only have 15 minutes before I board. I'm supposed to meet Catherine somewhere. I don't think I'm gonna have time, but I'll say hi to her. That'll be a party. Catherine is just getting some cash. It's a gorgeous room for us. It's a gorgeous room for us. We've arrived. The long journey really is transit. Like the stuff you have to do at the airport, I had lots of admin to do, but I'm here now, I'm gonna chill. Arrived just before the sunset, which is beautiful. Um, Catherine, unfortunately, kind of lost her SIM card. Like we were buying SIM cards just now so that we can have connectivity, obviously. That's the first thing you do. Um, and she kind of lost her South African SIM card. So she's had to take a shuttle back to the airport just to check if they can find it for her. Um, I have her bag. I want a drink. So I'm gonna take off these boots, put on some flip-flops, chill a bit. Yeah, but the, also the issues that I actually need to sort up my... But also I'm not gonna flagellate because I've had issues with this card this whole time. So I just need to get like yeah. an app, like how I have a standard bank app. Because they were like, you can just do that on your app. And I'm like... <laughs> the hour it is uh 19:43. <laughs> i'm hiding my vision board i have a phone version of my vision board on as my 
more people anyway i am in nairobi kenya <laughs> um uh i left this morning i say morning but really my flight was at 12 10 but obviously you have to be at the airport um at least three hours prior that's for me some people prefer to some people can even do one for international flights that's wild business to me i need to be i'm one of those i need to be at the airport 10 hours before so i can sit there being anxious about missing my flight um but this time around i i, I gave myself at least two hours um even though i shouldn't have because i had a ton of admin to do i needed to sort out my corporate card because i don't have things it's still it was it was still um sketch so i needed to go to the bank so i did that and then from the bank go to the bureau exchange so i can get some money um, busy running errands i was supposed to sort out my card issues is all completely forgot but i got here on time that's sorted now i'm trying to get some money i need some money okay Six, four, six, eight, eight, nine, wonderful thank you so much matt was really stressful because um boarding time was at quarter past 11 and i was finished <laughs> with the getting the monies at like 10 to 11 and i still had to go through the boarding gate and it was really slow and then go through immigration and then walk all the way to find my gate it was right at the end um so i'm not going to do that ever again i think that was a really close call but i've never missed a flight in my life so i'm good <laughs> When I continue on that streak. Another thing that stressed me out was that my colleague who's down the road, down down the passageway here, um, texted me at like half past eight in the morning. And she was like, Hey, I don't know if you're catching the same flight as me, um, the twelve thirty, twelve ten flight. Uh, but if you are, I'm chilling at diner. Eight thirty. I'm chilling at Dinah. So that she's done all of the things. Catherine got here at 8.30. <laughs> I'm April Dad. I am April Dad. I think it was like 10 past 9. I was sitting in an Uber at the time. And I'm like, did I, did I mess up? I did find her. I spent literally less than six minutes. And then we had to go find our boarding gate so we could board. Got on the flight. It was a pleasant flight, Shem. I tried this whiskey that they had. I need to find it. Because that was liquor in there that was that was a quadruple shot but like it was it was liquor um i enjoyed it and then i listened to some music i watched a whole lot of videos that i downloaded on youtube that's my thing and i enjoyed doing that so i didn't have to like watch any boring movies that they had i didn't even check i didn't even switch on the monitor is that the monitor that yeah the screen that they have for the movies i didn't even check out what's on the catalog i was like I got my videos lined up that I downloaded. I'm going to watch these until I get to Kenya. And that's exactly what I did. Um, and then we arrived, exchanged the money from dollars to shillings. And we got SIM cards for ourselves and came to the hotel to check in. And now I'm here in the hotel room. I'm going to be meeting Catherine, my colleague. I didn't even freshen up because my bags are packed in such a way that we're ready to be out of here by 5 a.m. Didn't tell you why we're here. So I'm here for pleasurable business reasons because i'm here for work but i'm going to turn it into a pleasurable situation towards the end of the week um but we're here for hostile environment training i've been with the company for nine months now and i've never been assigned to a single protest because they're very strict about employees being well equipped to handle combat zones and hostile environments um so they host these once a year and this year i I had to go so i can be prepared to be sent anywhere really in the world moving forward fingers crossed i it would be nice to travel with work again uh, i've missed it we're just spending the night here in nairobi and then tomorrow morning at 5 a.m we have to meet downstairs get on a bus that's going to take us to naivasha um naivasha is apparently three hours away from nairobi so that's going to be a long trip. I'm hoping we're not doing anything tomorrow, really. I'm hoping we're just driving there, getting there, getting settled. And then we've tried to ask some colleagues about like what to expect, what this kind of thing is, because we had like online. I don't know why I'm whispering. 
<laughs> it's because everyone has been so cryptic but basically we had like a, a, an online uh, webinar theor theory training um for this and now this is like the in-person stuff but we've been asking colleagues like they had like a list of stuff that we had to bring uh we're basically going to be camping sleeping bags mattresses some cash uh, a page that has emergency contact numbers um a torch we've been asking colleagues hey like what do they do there um and they're like yeah no you know they change it all the time which is true because there's some people who are going to be coming who've done it before but you have to renew it every five years because things change even the first aid um oh i think we're probably going to start with first aid tomorrow but even the first aid uh training is different now i i, I remember when we did the the theory version i was like oh i know all of this because i did my first aid when i was still at idea candy two years ago and I still remember some things and they're like no we don't do it that way anymore so I guess yeah anyway that's what we're here for we're gonna be in the outskirts um training to be prepared as journalists when we are thrust into hostile environments I'm hoping I'll be able to shoot some things but I'm doubtful I'll be able to and also just because I suppose this course is um paid for so I'm guessing this will be like me taking a camera into a lecture hall and recording lectures and then showing them to people for free. I don't know. I'll find out if I'm able to shoot. If I'm not, then I guess we'll pick this up when I'm done. Let me go to dinner. Do you want to come? Okay, so. Can I have the corn mushroom? Good morning. I'm a morning person, but even for me, this is a little too early. They're so serious about us being on time that they had reception make wake up calls for us at 4.45 I guess if you've got a big group of people also like I think we were just, there was just four of us from Joburg or four from South Africa there's one other person who's flying who was flying from Cape Town and then the rest of the group is from all over the world I'm packed up now I'm just putting on shoes and then I want to go downstairs for a COVID test we have to wear masks the whole trip to Naivasha. I haven't worn a mask in a bus in a long time. I didn't sleep at all. I was constantly anxious that it's like quarter to four. I got zero REM sleep. Maybe I'll sleep in the bus. Maybe I won't. Yeah, I don't know what that means for me. Let's start this day. This is me, Audi. I'll see this hotel on Wednesday again. Uh, get all the uh, juice from your nose. Okay. Okay. And then, and then you discard this. Yes. And then you. You do like this, you see? You put. This is like a little drip push. No, you drip like that. You drip it enough, right? Yes. Four, five? Two. 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 Two.
halfway stop at the art cafe. At the art cafe. For some, for some, for some coffee. Oh, sorry. Today has been hectic, really jam-packed. So now we've got an hour to sort out our sleeping arrangements. And luckily, they were like the ladies don't have to share tent. Some do, but I don't. I've got this whole house to myself. Whole house to myself. It's like it never rained. Hello. So this is good enough. It's not too far. No, get a little closer. Not cold, but don't move because it's low light. Yeah, yeah. Stay still. One, two. Good morning. Thank you. Just I tried tree tomato, scrumptious. Mm -hmm. You're missing out. Because I mean, curry is really good. And don't nobody ask me to bring this up. I love the juice. The juice, the tree tomato juice. Yeah. And our mango juice. Scrumptious. It's heavenly, but like that, I'm what a crazy day i don't think i've recorded um anything since yesterday because yesterday was rough i posted some stuff on instagram so maybe i'll use that but it was incredibly physically uh, and psychologically which means psycho psychology is like study of i don't know the mental and emotional stuff right so psychologically wraps it up nicely taxing t and challenging day um but equally rewarding empowering um exciting fun um so it's not to say that it wasn't good it's just it was tough uh, i was given very much pushing ourselves to towards the limit because it wasn't to the limit for sure um it's just for me i haven't physically challenged myself in that way and then on the back burner of that it, it was the psychological stuff so it was like can i catch a break um although i mean the disclaimer before we even started was that this is completely voluntary um you do not have to do anything that feels like you shouldn't um you are not going to be coerced to do anything either you have absolute and complete autonomy and agency over uh, whether you're going to part participate in some things or not um obviously some people have certain injuries and um that includes mental mental um injuries psychological injuries as well so um 
but yeah no one no one set anything out and i think it was the camaraderie and the learning lots of like learning and stuff it is training after all that made it feel like no just just try it out at the very least try it out and then if you feel like oh you want to tap out then you can tap out and i don't think anyone tapped out even though there were tears <laughs> even though there were like robust discussions even though there was um um you know intense dialogue um that seemed like it was ooh, but we pushed through all of it and yeah now we're chilling our last challenge is to cook together and i don't know if you can hear the noise but for the first well the first morning there was music but that was like literally less than 30 minutes of it and now we're playing some music and people are cooking and they brought out some beers and some boxed wine <laughs> so yeah and i have some here i have wine in um in a coffee mug Ugh. um yeah tomorrow's day also starts uh, like the normal days here which is 7 a.m for breakfast and then class starts at eight um but then we have to leave straight after lunch i think so i'm going to pack my bag while everyone's cooking um oh also like i'm not part of the cooking team because we were supposed to be cooking in teams and the other teams grabbed all the stuff that's the good stuff and then all was left was like freaking canned viennas and canned sweet corn and canned everything really canned chicken something like and i was like no thank you they had like some spring rolls and samosas on the side i was like i'm gonna have samosas with dinner Memphis. Yeah, yeah, okay. nice, nice, All right. So tomorrow and tomorrow is Wednesday, then Thursday, Friday is the weekend, I guess. But it isn't because we have to go to work. It's been lovely. We will deeper when we get back to Naivasha, but yeah, let's finish this day up. Just got back. Mm. I tell Shanella I'm at the gate and she's busy dancing there. I tell you I'm at the gate. You are busy dancing there for the drums. I saw it. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> This is my new abode. Got here in the morning. I have not opened here. How do I get out? This feels like it was. Someone's building. This is an entire apartment that belongs to someone. It's a whole kitchen. Guess. Which room this view is from? Boom. Come on. Happy Valentine's to you. I Guys, we're about to have a jaw 
and there's someone there still kind of guarding. Shame. Ooh. Oh, excuse us. I got no more. Hey. Good morning from the girl who slept in my booty. No, that wasn't my lady. It was such a nice place. Are <laughs> And I have to get to work. I'm hoping the traffic is not bad. Pray for me. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away, So one of my favorite things about you and I, as in you, the person that's watching this video, and me, the person that's making this video, is that you never click on my videos. You never come on here expecting any kind of luxury content. You come on here wanting realness. I'm about to show you the realest thing that I've ever shown you on this channel. Come along. I'll show you the apartment. I haven't shown you me doing a whole load of laundry and hanging it on freaking furniture i'm just this is real as it gets oh what did i use as detergent dishwasher my boy and you know there's just there's no expectation that these clothes are squeaky clean now but i did give it you know a bit of a a hand wash and your girl's gonna be walking around with fresh clothing. Anywho, let's go to work, guys. Yo, I haven't even eaten. Goodbye, Nairobi office. people um as you can tell to my left camera right my clothes are dry and clean i even have a clean pair of socks to put on um i'm meeting my friend who's really just been my host actually thank you so much for this whole time i've been in nairobi i'm meeting her for lunch i'm leaving tomorrow so this will be the last time i see her um i want to go um she organized somebody for me to go and get some brass rings from so i'm gonna get some brass rings maybe even just like jewelry in general um um yeah and i'll just walk around seeing a little bit of, more of kenya well nairobi but I'm tired. I did too like well, I didn't do too mm, no, I did. <laughs> but I it's just been go, go, go every single day, you know. My body's really sore. Um also someone like you know rem reminded me or alerted me, Uti. Also <laughs> my fitness level is even worse than I think it is because um of the high altitude in Kenya. Even just walking is really tough. Um, and I've been walking in Joburg like a lot. And my walking has gotten so good that I like I started upping the ante. I've started running a little bit now. But I got here and I was like, why does it feel like I haven't made any progress? High mother freaking altitude. That's why I tied this a little too tight. Uh, anyway, housekeeping is close by. Let me just leave so they can come do their work in peace. I'm worried because I have a lot of like valuables in here. For instance, a freaking drone that I'm supposed to take back to Joburg. My laptop. I'll just have to trust. Trust that they'll do their job and leave my stuff alone. <laughs>
I got here first and I'm glad because I thought I was um, running late. But I'm uh, not. Hey, Ninella, I'm outside at the back bench. Inside here, I saw a boat up there. Just an empty one. At the back. Back bench. Outside. That's empty. This is my fit for the night. Speaking of washing, I'm just also so happy that I don't suffer from the need to look, I don't know, on brand or a certain way every time I travel. I literally just packed two pairs of jeans. The rest of the clothes were tight because I was camping anyway. But two pairs of jeans and just t-shirt t-shirts. Thank God I could wash them and the t-shirts. And I'll just repeat those. I got some rings, which I'm so happy about. To get these rings in South Africa, you have to go to like a market that happens once every other business year, every other financial year. So I'm so happy about this. <laughs> Fade away. 